The school day may technically be over, but here the learning still happens as the afternoon goes on. Add to it, supper is approaching. Breakfast for supper, to be exact. Here at Doss Middle School in Hendersonville, the classroom subject is food prep. Um, conversions from using cups of like flour to like how many cups of water you need. Their homework done, these kids in the DOS Unity Learning Center now focus on omelets. It's part of a UT Extension after-school program called Adventures in the Kitchen, where these young chefs are learning a number of recipes. We made French toast, which was really good. That's my favorite. Uh -huh. um, and we made like a chocolate fondue, yeah, with some fruits, strawberry, banana, and a pretzel stick, and marshmallows too. The Alisea twins like to cook at home and believe it's important for kids to learn how to make their own meals. Yes, because it like teaches me to be more responsible and independent in myself so then when I grow up I already know how to make something quick and healthy. There are also school subjects involved here. Following a recipe improves reading comprehension and teaches math. And when you get a child in a kitchen, it also promotes healthier eating. And it, it gives them ownership. So we talk about my plate and the different food groups and portion control and food safety. Family and Consumer Sciences agent Jenny Biggs tells us when a young person creates something in the kitchen, it's a self-worth boost and a chance to try new foods. While they may not have been willing to try something if somebody else served it to them, the fact that they made it and they put the energy into it, they were excited to try their finished product and found out that they enjoyed it. A few successful omelets created, it's time to taste test what we've made. Our children need their academics, but life skills too. Cooking is a skill and a necessity. And now with these kids, a learned behavior. This is Charles Denny reporting.